Green Growth Week. And as you addressed, the, there is the innovation in our world in transition. And I found there is a two major innovations would be the crime in, and also in crime related technology or uh, uh, crime resilient system as, as well as uh, AI. Actually, before I joined to the National Assembly, I was humanitarian physician and uh, initially working with the MSF, that was with our brother, and I have worked in the the most marginalized community and on the conflict and war and the other situation. At the first time, I did not realize those kind of conflict area, how it linked with the crime change. But later on, and uh, with the effort of the all of the people here, I realized those kind of conflict and human crisis are very strongly interplayed with the crime change. And then, I start to think what is the solution for the, this complex humanitarian emergencies that combined with the, the uh, crime change and then we expect it will be uh, severe, more severe and severe in the, in the next decade. So about eight years ago, I tried to expand my research and uh, my practice with uh, artificial intelligence because I found AI initially have a great capacity to build up the, some resilient social system. So in our government, after I moving to the National Assembly, in last uh, few months ago, we have a presidential election and now we have a new administration. We set up the great uh, national priority on the AI universal basic society. It is our effort to equip or to facilitate artificial intelligence for, to ensuring the universal coverage and the universal access to education and adapting it to the reducing disaster risk and etc. So this kind of the AI universal basic society, I think we can provide or uh, co-develop uh, some more uh, transnational uh, AI agent platform, which can be functioned as a public intelligence, not only for South Korea, but also basically in the, initially in the Asia Pacific country, and especially on the private vulnerable countries, and to provide more sustainable, or more resilient social ecosystem. And so that is the one of our play in, the, in South Korea. We try to adapt it into the uh, our AI, the statement or AI initiative in the APEC and later the uh, global conference and etc. So in that case, is the I would like to uh, emphasize again on the the world will be changed not only by the climate change, but also we have our risk and opportunity from the AI transformation of our world. So it is important to build up some nexus in between the AI innovation and also climate. Uh, resilient social system. So it's why, on the one hand, we are fully equipped the crime mitigate strategies with the AI, and because AI will invent or facilitate new uh, industry, and this new industry based on powered by AI should be rely on the renewable energy and also the uh, sustainable ecosystem. So on the other hand, uh, as I mentioned, the artificial intelligence should be work and function to be in line with the, uh, the climate resilient social system. So under compounding impact of the climate change, global public health crisis and conflict, etc., our contemporary system may not be uh, sustainable or we have a lack of the enough capacity to respond to that. So in that case, is the decision is the very important because the, the these two important driver of the climate and artificial intelligence, we need to find a way the, to make new society can be more resilient to the 
the, the new kind of crisis event and from the crime event, etc. But also, it can fill the existing societal or global challenges which uh, usually rely on the global uh, inequality. So, last thing I would like to mention that uh, is that the contemporary world, global inequality, differencing between countries, uh, usually rely on the difference in the human intelligence system. So, every country has a different uh, resilience and vulnerability and different capacity to respond to the crime crisis. So I believe artificial intelligence may combine, integrate with the existing human intelligence system so it can minimize our difference in human intelligence system around the world. So it is why the more fundamentally artificial intelligence we guide it to fill the existing gap in the human intelligence system, it can be great uh, resilient foundation for the climate crisis we will encounter. Thank you so much.